Welcome to this three-part blender series in which we will create this mocha pot right here. We will go over modeling, we will uh, have a look at UV unwrapping, at texturing, at shading, um, and finally at lighting and rendering. And in the last tutorial, I will show you how to integrate this 3D object into a real image. I have some very uh, cool tricks to show you right there. And I think this whole project is very interesting because the mocha pot has a very special shape because in essence it's just a perfect um, yeah a perfect uh, cylinder but it has these these very sharp bevels and there are some very cool tricks to get this effect uh, quite easily so now let's stop talking and dive right in let's start with a blank scene and delete everything let's add a new circle with 10 vertices and extrude it up then uh, select everything and Press subdivide, delete this inner edge loop with limited dissolve. Now let's select one of these inner edges and select similar by face angle. This will select every every edge with these properties. Scale them up and scale them a bit in um, by pressing shift Z to limit your scaling only to the X and Y axis. Now select this top edge loop, S, Z and zero to make it flat. Now search for to sphere to make this to a perfect sphere. And now let's uh, move it a bit up to, to further match uh, the shape of the original and do exactly the same uh, down below. So make it flat to sphere and mash the shape so it looks, looks quite like the original. Okay, now to make the bevel effect, let's select one of these outer edges and select similar again by face angle and shift select these top and bottom uh, edges. And I'll press Ctrl B to make a bevel. Let me increase the mean, mean crease. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier to make this a bit more visible. Shade it smooth. And now you can see we have this bevel effect, these very sharp edges, um, but everything else is quite smooth. And um, yeah, this is a very good trick to, to create this effect. Now let's bevel these edges and make, make this a bit sharper. Yeah, now let's go into wireframe uh, view and uh, make this top part a bit smaller. Smaller, so um, since you can see, it's uh, slightly tapered to the to the top. Let's duplicate our object and make the top part. Make it a bit larger. I think this bit, it bit, um, bit, it's not quite symmetrical. And now let's make this this inner inner ring by extruding this edge out to the bottom and extrude it in. Now let's select these outer edges and again add a bevel to make a sharp edge. Let's match the positioning. And yeah, that's that's the base mesh. Um, let's um, further, um, further make the, the proportions a bit more accurate. And let's delete everything in the top. So first delete the outer edge, control L to delete the inner faces. Of course, very important, save your project. And now let's focus a bit more on the outlet um, in the top part. So um, yeah, now let's select, let's create one edge loop right in the center. This will mark the, the bottom, bottom uh, edge for our outlet. And let's delete this top edge ring for now. Very uh, helpful tool is select similar. Um, always uh, makes your life a bit easier. So it's very worth to take a look at this. Now let's select one, um, uh, two edges, uh, two faces on the on the side right here. And um, yeah, now um, press I to make an inset and E to extrude it. And yeah, move the face right into position, delete the top faces. And now we have this very easy, simple outlet, um, which will now further further match the shape to the original. Let's move this a bit down because I think it's a bit a bit um, yeah a bit wider in at this case. Let's add a other edge loop to make this um, part a bit bit more rounded. And always uh, look at your references, because I think, uh, yeah, for this shot it's not so important. 
um, but if you um, if your focus is on this this part right here I think um, I could have done a better job at this I think in my case um, I have a mocha pot right next to me I think in this case um, the the um, this outlet is at one of these edges and not uh, one, uh, at one of these faces I think um, I got this part a bit wrong right here but um, it doesn't matter for this case um, yeah but now let's um, select it and give it a bit give it the right proportions it's always back and forth um, maybe play with um, the mean crease since this is a very easy way to to add um, sharper edges without adding uh, unnecessary topology and yeah I think this pretty much does the job Yeah, now let's uh, select these starting starting vertices and um, right click and smooth vertices is a very very helpful tool but uh, in this case I think I did it manually now let's select the top edge and extrude everything out to make this rim um, but for the this front part of our outlet I will move the vertices manually inwards. Yeah, of course you could have added a mirror modifier, this has uh, would have made my life a bit easier I think, but it's not totally necessary. In this case, I think I can do it all manually. And now let's extrude this edge right down. Uh, this is not 100% accurate, but um, the the we, we are not interested in the inner inner workings of this um, mocha pot. Um, yeah, we just want to make a small rim right at the top. And now let us create the lid. Uh, for this, add a new new circle. But first let's select these top faces and scale them along the z-axis to make this perfectly flat since the lid um, should uh, sit right on top of it. And let's match it. And now in isolated view is very very helpful to work on these uh, details in, in isolated view. Let's try this one again. Um, yeah, now let's extrude it and scale it um, to make this this uh, lid shape. Um, let's leave the center, center hole in this case. Let's duplicate these inner edges and extrude them to make the handle. Extrude them up and scale them a bit outwards. And again, extrude them, extrude them inwards and uh, let's fill this one um, by merging all the edges. I've added a subdivision surface modifier right now. And now I'm beveling these edges to make them a bit sharper. To create these hard edges again, select everything but deselect the inner edges and again bevel them. Let's bevel this, uh, this outer part of the lid as well. Again, select everything and use the mean crease to change the, the strength of this, this effect. And do the same for the handle. Select all of these edges, bevel them, uh, bevel this edge as well. And now it should look right. Um, it's, uh, it looks a bit like a diamond shape. Mm, but this is a very cool trick to create these, these kinds of shapes in Blender. So now let's increase the size of this part a bit and do the same for this top part as well since this I think matches the, the final, final model a bit better. Okay, now next step is, I think, um, the side handle. Um, to do this, let's add a new plane right in here and now first let's create the profile, the side profile of this handle by scaling it a bit down using um, proportional editing, very, very helpful feature. Let's rotate it a bit and again extrusion, it's always these simple tools, extrude, scale, move and um, 
Yeah, let's uh, try to, to naturally uh, match the form of the sandal. It works better with a subdivision surface on because you, you will see um, how your final result will look like. And this bottom part, I think, let's extrude it out. Add a few edges, uh, edge loops right in to uh, further define the, the shape, make it um, it looks quite quite uh, like a muscle shape um, and make it look comfortable. Oh, it's the details, it's this this um, rounding of uh, this corner. And um, cool trick is to make these edges straight, select them and scale them down at the Z axis or in, in this case, I think at the, in the Y axis, at the X axis, and then uh, again, rotate them. And now let's add in a few more, few more vertices, few more edge loops here and there to, to further match the shape. Always have a look at my reference image. Of course, it's, it feels like uh, you're cheating a bit. Indeed, you are cheating a bit, but um, I think especially as a beginner, um, it's very helpful to have this reference right next to you. Um, you could, of course, model this right uh, with an um, uh, image reference in the background, so you could, um, could copy it. Um, but I think, um, yeah, it helps to, to to do some creative work, to do, to visualize um, it in your brain and to match the proportions accordingly. So, with that said, I think we should be done in a few moments. This took me a while since I wanted it to, to be perfect. You can't always get it perfect, but uh, I think this is pretty close. It's close enough, at least. Again, do this this scaling trick. Select this, these edges, scale them along the z-axis, and then rotate them back into their previous position. Pressing uh, double G to slide uh, edges is very helpful right here. Yeah, and I think now let's select it, move it a bit out. I think it was a bit too large. Select everything and extrude it to make it into a three-dimensional object. Place a center loop um, around the object and scale this one up by pressing Alt S to scale it along the normals to make it a bit, a bit rounder, a bit more comfortable and um, as you see in the reference image, um, now let's first of course add a mirror modifier since this will make our lives a bit easier. Make sure to enable clipping. And um, now let's select these, these inner edges, these center edges. Like these and move them along the Y axis to, to make it a bit hollow, to make it, um, yeah, as if, if um, so that you can grip it a bit more easily. And um, let's give it a, a bit of variation. So select some vertices here and there and move them along the y-axis to make it a bit irregular. I'm not 100% satisfied with this corner right here, but I think it works. And now let's attach this handle to our uh, mocha pot. Of course, we could uh, add it and connect it right to this to this um, main object, but I think in this case we will get away with just adding uh, a connecting piece as a second mesh. Uh, so let's add a box right in there, and um, yeah, let's match again the shape of our original and move it uh, into position. 
And I think right somewhere at this point my recording software crashed. So I did some smaller adjustments and added this top part and these screws right, right in there. Um, but um, I think this is the same pro procedure as well. It's um, just adding a few boxes and trying to get the shape right. Now finally let's add a pressure vent to this thing. Uh, even though this is not present in our reference um, frame, uh, I uh, personally have one right here, as I said earlier, a mocha pot and uh, this one has a pressure vent. So to do this, add a circle, give it a subdivision surface modifier and extrude it into shape. And uh, yeah, let's bevel these edges to make it a bit more solid as well as there and uh, scale it right into place. So now very important, um, again, we want to create very sharp bevels. Um, to do this, select all of these outer edges and bevel them um, three times, very important for this trick I'm uh, going to show you in a second. Now let's select these three vertices, merge them into one, select these three edges and limit it, dissolve them. Uh, this will get rid of the topology, this excess topology we don't want. This will only keep these sharp, these hard edges right where we want them, but in the center part where our um, vent should be, should be a perfect circle, um, uh, it gets rid of uh, this topology and um, yeah, you will be left with a with a quad mesh. There are no uh, triangles, it's all quads and uh, this is exactly what, exactly what we want. So this is uh, very useful um, uh, for other 3D models as well. Simply add three bevels and yeah, then um, do this trick. Now let's enable um, face snapping and make sure to align it to the projected surface and now we can, can perfectly position it to our final model. And with that done, I think this wraps up uh, today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in part number two where we will take a look at shading, texturing and finally rendering our object.